In 2012, cybersecurity researcher Kyle Wilhoit created a virtual water treatment plant network and control systems to test its security when connected to the internet. The plant was quickly attacked by hackers from various countries trying to break in and inject malware. One spear phishing email used social engineering to trick someone into installing malware that scraped documents from the plant. Kyle traced it back to a server in China containing stolen corporate and government secrets. Kyle had just discovered APT-1, a Chinese military group also known as Unit 61398, that had been conducting a major hacking operation called Operation Shady Rat since 2006 to steal intelligence. This video is sponsored by Stonefly. More on that at the end of the video. APT-1 used spear phishing emails with malware to infiltrate networks, then remained undetected for months and years to siphon documents through internal rat caves to servers in China. Their shortest stay inside the network was three months while the longest operation lasted for five years. Their earliest known targets were South Korean construction and industrial companies in 2006 to 2007. Their methods were crude but effective due to poor security. They targeted over 140 companies worldwide, and according to Reuters, they stole designs for projects like the F-35 fighter jet from Lockheed Martin. Other frequent targets included engineering, construction, and manufacturing firms to gain intellectual property on new technologies and products. Stolen documents reportedly numbered in the terabytes and allegedly aided China's economic planning and rapid industrial development. By maintaining long-term access inside critical infrastructure networks in the U.S., they also gained capabilities for cyber attacks if needed. The U.S. government started contracting security firms like Mandiant and McAfee in hopes of identifying the attackers and coined the term Advanced Persistent Threat. McAfee traced stolen documents back to command servers in China in 2011, showing the coordinated nature of seemingly separate attacks. Mandiant directly linked the attacks to Unit 61398 in Shanghai in 2013 through digital forensics of their tools and infrastructure. Unit 61398 contained hundreds of trained hackers acting as part of the Chinese military intelligence apparatus for tasks like cyber warfare and propaganda. They worked out of a military facility in Shanghai and were estimated to have hundreds of personnel. Job listings would include details of successful hacks and one even published an academic paper on techniques. Hackers showed high skill at social engineering, malware coding, moving laterally within networks, and maintaining long-term access unseen. The US attempted diplomatic approaches, but China denied involvement while continuing more discreet attacks through proxies after 2013. There were concerns that maintaining long-term access inside critical networks could potentially allow China to sabotage infrastructure if there was a future conflict or dispute. Attribution was difficult initially as hackers used common tools and China denied involvement. Prosecution of individual hackers was nearly impossible as they operate overseas with state protection. Most private firms still had poor security, making infiltration relatively easy compared to today's environment. States now engage only in constant low-level espionage, making full deterrence very challenging. The transition to more advanced tactics showed how state-sponsored cyber espionage had matured into a serious national security threat by the late 2000s. Shady Rat demonstrated how sustained large-scale espionage campaigns could be very effective at achieving strategic objectives over many years. By establishing long-term access inside critical networks, adversaries gain potential future leverage or capabilities for sabotage disruption during a crisis or conflict. Most nation-state hacking groups now employ techniques like Shady Rat, using social engineering, staying hidden for long periods, and maintaining footholds rather than just data theft. Attributing advanced attacks to specific groups or governments grows more complex as hackers use proxy servers to mask origin and hire private contractors to create plausible deniability. International norms against certain behaviors have not curbed espionage, as it's now seen as an essential tool of power like intelligence operations in other domains. Defending vast IT networks in both government and the private sector against sophisticated threats remains extremely challenging given resources and technical limitations. 
Most experts believe the risk of disruptive cyber attacks on critical infrastructure will continue to increase as nations develop more offensive capabilities. Shady Rat is a wake-up call and shows why both security practices and policy diplomatic approaches must continuously adapt to counter the evolution of nation-state hacking programs. And now a word from our sponsor. Get a 70 terabytes air-gapped and immutable Veeam, Rubrik, Commvault Site Recovery, Backup and Disaster Recovery Appliance for $7,995. Contact sales at stonefly.com for details. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you liked the video, show some support, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.